Hello, hi everyone. Today I'm going to discuss with you about oxidation reduction reaction or also known as redox reaction. The term oxidation was originally used to describe reaction in which an element combines with oxygen. Example, the reaction between magnesium metal and oxygen to form magnesium oxide involves the oxidation of magnesium. Here is the chemical equation of the combustion reaction between magnesium and oxygen. Here we can see that magnesium has a reactant will receive an oxygen to form a magnesium oxide. Therefore, we can say that this magnesium has gone through an oxidation reaction. How do we differentiate between oxidation and reduction? This slide will show you the difference between oxidation and reduction. For your information, oxidation and reduction are happen simultaneously in a reaction. If a substance going through oxidation, the substance will gain an oxygen. Meanwhile, if the substance going through reduction, the substance will lose of oxygen. On the other hand, the oxidation also can be identified if the substance lose of electrons. In contrast, if the substance going through reduction, the substance will gain electrons. There is also one more way to know whether your substance going through oxidation or reduction, which is by calculating their oxidation number. If the substance gain oxidation number from reactant to product, your substance is going through an oxidation reaction. Meanwhile, if the substance decreasing in oxidation number, it shows that the substance is going through a reduction reaction. Let's look at a practical problem. Determine which element is oxidized and which is reduced when copper to oxide reacts with hydrogen to form copper and water. In this chemical equation, we can see that copper oxide reacts with hydrogen gas to form copper and water. Copper oxide has a reactant, loses the oxygen, has a product. It shows that copper oxide has gone through reduction. Meanwhile, hydrogen gas has a reactant, will receive an oxygen to form water in the product. Therefore, hydrogen gas is going through an oxidation reaction. Let's look at the role of oxidation numbers in oxidation reduction reactions. Chemists eventually extended the idea of oxidation and reduction to reactions that do not formally involve the transfer of electrons. As an example, you can see in this chemical reaction between carbon monoxide and water. Carbon monoxide and water react to form carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas. What changes in this reaction is the oxidation state of these atoms. The oxidation state of carbon increases from positive 2 to positive 4, while the oxidation state of the hydrogen decreases from positive 1 to 0. Hmm. How do I know the oxidation number of that element? Is there any particular calculation for it? The answer is yes. In order for us to calculate the oxidation numbers, we need to know first a few oxidation numbers of a general atoms. In this example, fluorine. Fluorine oxidation numbers is negative 1, oxygen is negative 2, hydrogen is positive 1, and chlorine is negative 1. The overall oxidation number of atoms in a compound is 0, unless it's stated there negative 2 or so on or so forth, then we can say that the compound's oxidation number will be negative or positive based on the value indicated at the symbol. That looks at the example. Oxidation state of carbon in carbon dioxide. We know that oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2. Therefore, in carbon dioxide, we have two atoms of oxygen. Therefore, negative 2 multiplied with 2 is negative 4. See, oxidation number is unknown. Therefore, when this unknown plus negative 4 equals to 0, 
Why is it zero? Because the net charge of carbon dioxide molecule is zero. Therefore, we get our carbon oxidation state is positive 4. Don't forget to put the plus sign. Now, let's try a few practical problems. What is the oxidation number of nitrogen in nitrate? Pause the video and try the question. The answer will be positive 1. What is the oxidation number of lead in lead hydroxide? The oxidation number of lead in lead hydroxide ion is positive 2. Here are a few mnemonic and definition of, of important terms that you need to know in order to master this topic. Leo, meaning loss of electron in oxidation. Ger, gain of electrons in reduction. Another way is to simplify, rem to simply remember that reduction is to reduce the oxidation number. Therefore, oxidation must increase the value. Oxidizing agent is the substance which oxidizes somebody else, is reduced in the process. Reducing agent, meanwhile, is a substance which reduces somebody else, it is oxidized in the process. Therefore, oxidizing agent is being reduced while reducing agent is being oxidized, so it is actually a reciprocal process. That's all for today, everyone. Thank you for watching.